Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, we'll call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda is acceptance of the minutes uh, from the October 9th uh, meeting. Hello, Mr. Um, do we? I move we accept. Thank you. Do we have a second? I'll second that. All in favor? That's just the minutes from October. We did that last time, Larry. Oh, last month we did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. There you go. <laughs> All right, the um, next item on the agenda is pro project status. And if you don't mind, if you have information that you want to share, Andrew. The only information I have that's new is, um, and I think you were talking on the email, the acceptance of the doors. Right, um, yeah. All of metal with five panel mm -hmm. um, raised edges on the panels. Um, yeah. It was a, I think, $3,000 ad to get the panel doors rather than the Fifty eight hundred or something from the wood doors before. Okay. Um, they'll match the doors inside though. Oh, with those that'd be panels. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and you've gotten all of your, your approvals are all through. And yeah, I had it. sent an approval last week, and maybe he didn't get it. Or maybe I, th I thought I was going to receive another submittal, but he asked yesterday mm -hmm. yeah, um, that, yeah. if if I was approving it or not. So I approved again. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Um, so he's able to get those ordered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So that's the only new thing. Um, last I did see that DMP had approved service. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that's a discussion that we had a little bit earlier about what we're getting, yeah. what what was thought to be whether three phase two hundred amp or single phase single phase two hundred amp. <laughs> so we're at the point where Steve Burton, I think, is trying to work through that. Interesting. Okay. Um, Apparently, there's some confusion. An electrician thought it was supposed to be 200 amp three phase. That's the equipment he purchased. And CMP thought it was 200 amp single phase. Single phase. So they showed up to actually connect it. CMP did and said, we can't connect phase, it because yeah. our paperwork doesn't match the equipment and stuff's there. So now this has just happened within the last day or so. Yeah. So they're just trying to sort this out. The electrician plan for three phase. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, originally, I think this got really confusing because back when we put in the work order to have them connect, it was three phase. And then mm -hmm. Steve Burton said, no, I think it's single phase. So then we re, yeah, we redid that, had got the phone number, whoever, whether Justin mm -hmm. called or who called, somebody called to, for the hookup. And then today, I guess, was going to be the hookup and found out that. We were really right in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. yeah, they should have the uh, electric uh, electrical engineer drawings yeah. should have that schedule on it of what's supposed to be coming right. in. But I can right. look at that. Yeah, but just that'd be great. Verify. And then we can get you know, um, CMP to do whatever it is they need to do. I saw that they put down that plywood oh, panel and shoes they had. I saw the pictures in my. Yeah, well, okay. Paul and I were That's both odd. very surprised about it. And we checked our drawings, and there was a note that said uh, panel to match, like infill panel to match window. So I, it might have been. Yeah. And know, there were, they showed me the red dots around that inset. And I'm like, yeah, but 
there never was anything there. So it was always a reason. And, yeah. and and Darren's like, I hate it. And I said, I hate it too. That's why I'm here right now. Well, I know. <laughs> we were confused at where the note on our drawings came from, which is either Paul or I, because our intention would never have been to do that. So yeah. it may have been at one point, we might have been planning to fill in behind the inset with a, like an insulated panel and maybe that oh, note got right. Copied onto the exterior at the same place. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but that's taken care of. Yeah, exactly. And, and Darren's like, yeah, it's just tap cons. We can take that right yeah. out. And I said, well, let me, I'm taking a picture and I'm going right home. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the notes I got from Todd was someone saying there's a window missing. There's oh, be another well, window. that was another that's thing. Because oh, okay. some woman thinks that there always was another window there, but there never was another window there, ever. Yeah. Well, she didn't go to school here. What I does know. she know? I know. I know. <laughs> I, 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 know. <laughs> I will bring her the picture of my grandmother's class sitting in front of that whole section. And there's a door. There's an inset. There's a window. <laughs> so and that's it. And that is 1923. There you go. That, well. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. The poor guys. I was up here last Thursday because Wednesday night we had our select board meeting and I when I drove up I could see something there because it was already starting to get dark and then I when I left I said what is that and I turned my power oh, around you, and I went you, back yeah. and shined my lights on it and I'm like oh my god <laughs> so Thursday I had stuff to do and showed up here you know with dress shoes on and dress pants and I said I'm sorry guys but I don't understand this they're like we don't either but the plan said and i said i'm taking a picture and going home and sending an email so be prepared yeah <laughs> you might have to take it down so oh gosh yeah all right so oh well so the doors is the only update uh you've been out so mm -hmm. on your trip so no more does anybody else have any else about the building i know and we had a lot of very a lot of interest today people coming here to vote mm -hmm. and um seeing it was good mm -hmm. for them to see yeah. things oh that's awesome yeah um one of the questions that they had that several had is that's awesome great thing where are we going to park mm -hmm. so what is ultimately the capacity going to be is it like 150 for uh, what what off the top of my head, um, I know that the assembly hall was roughly 100 and the back space was probably 70-ish. Right, uh, with, okay. With each of the little areas. Little room right. having probably one or two as occupancy. So I think it's like 186, if okay. I remember yeah. correctly. The one thing they noticed yesterday about coming here is we had no handicapped parking. Right. Designation anywhere. But right. we will when we get this ready. There will be, I think, at least two spots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's probably a good segue too into I, I spoke to um Mike Rogers uh Monday. Okay. And I know he's spoken to you and everything. He just wanted a an affirmation or wanted me to just double check on what he's going to be doing. Um because I think he was under the impression when I spoke to him that he was going to be doing the drawings for the um federal funding. The funding piece. Piece. So when he spoke, I don't know, I don't know who he spoke to, probably you. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't I was you, okay. He was told not to go that far. Was it Steve Alpin? It may have been. I, 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 I don't know who he spoke to. We'll have Steve to ask didn't you. ask me, to, or didn't tell me he spoke to them, because the last email no, I had from Lark was, I want to have a Zoom meeting. Or that, and I'm like, okay, when you pick a date, just let me know when I want to include Steve Eldridge. Okay. I don't think Steve would have told him not to go that far because that's our whole intention with right. Like that we have plans. Have plans. So, yeah. yeah, he was a little confused on that. And then I don't have, it wasn't me. No. Okay. Yeah, because he called me to he ask. Call Justin. No, because Justin <laughs> has would Justin is great about staying out of things that he doesn't know okay. what's <laughs> going on. So he he wouldn't he would say get in touch with me or you, you right. know, so right. that's yeah. exactly what would have that's happened. So he just wanted to confirm how far he was going, but one of the things he did ask about was, is there a parking consideration already? Because I know that we had, um, uh, not Caradine, uh, Trillium, 
for civil and right. that they had a, a preliminary site plan. And so right. I don't want to mix and match. No, and we should probably consultants. take a look at that and see. Yeah. Go back and fold those drawings. Yeah. 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 So as far as parking on the site, I don't know the capacity off the top of my head, but that is something that Mike could take on yeah. if we wanted to look at the site right. as a whole. Right. Um, obviously, that would be a discussion you'd have with him. Right. Um, or I guess with us, and then we would tell him what to right. do. But right. you know, that would be. How does he determine how many handicapped parking you have to have? Or it's different for a lot of different things. Like okay. drop off is different than parking. I mean, twenty percent is usually a number that's thrown around for a lot of things. Um, like parking garages will be twenty percent, but open okay. parking lots okay. could be dependent on location and availability and right. stuff like that. Okay. So. Yeah, that stuff always changes no matter where you are. Yeah, no. Um, but twenty percent, if we have I don't know, like fifty parking spots on the site, I'm not saying that's what it is. Right, but whatever you it is. Still right. have yeah. four, three, yeah. and three yeah. or four. Yeah. Well, I know Sugarloaf Mountain, the whole top parking area now is oh, is that? Handicap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Used to be the one hour parking if you wanted to go to dinner. No, no, you, do that. you have <laughs> to hike. You have to, want you oh, to get your exercise. Yes, they do. It's like the you know, shop and go in Hannaford that nobody's ever in. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. so. so if I look at the civil drawings tomorrow and um, maybe I can just discuss with Mike. Yeah overall like hey i think i've already sent him the civil right. and this and the cad plants and stuff that um trillium has done mm -hmm. so he, he must have some of the information already um but we can just discuss and if you think that he we'd like him to look at site stuff overall what the possibilities are because this this is a little field out here yeah, that's exactly. used right and they use so that just not. for and we talked about using that keeping it for green space and mm -hmm. to to be able to um have that for um you know games or yeah, rec soccer, rec soccer, soccer you practice, know different things like kids. that yeah. and um you know if we were going to take parking it would be you know more over towards between this building and that right, building. Yes, right between that building and if we needed to take a little oh, bit oh. out back here knowing that we were going to increase the space of this playground to bring right. it out so you can see it past the building. Mm -hmm. um, but knowing we've got that plus maybe making diagonal parking across here so that, you know, there's better parking around the perimeter of this front field. Right, rather than and, 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 exactly. And, 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 and diagonal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they have no parking, and then if they figure out, I mean, this used to be one way when the school was here because they had everybody, you know, picking up and dropping off that way. So, but if, if they had to creep into that, field yes, a little, a little bit, bit, it wouldn't to, be a problem to, 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 to keep exactly. the travel lane here. Yeah. That wouldn't probably yeah. be a crisis. Well, well they also used to so. have when you came out the doors of the first, um addition that we had mm -hmm. you came out there was that little uh, walkway and then they would have they had like six drive-in parking where mm -hmm. a lot of the teachers would yes. park over there and mr moody and yes. mrs cool yes. <laughs> yes so the last email from mike was october 10th and he said we sent him the, you know, signed contract, and he said, we'll be reaching out the next day or two to set up a Zoom call to reestablish some information and ask some follow-up questions. Looking forward to getting going. And I said, please include Steve Eldridge, our grant writer, who I added to this reply. And that was the last thing I heard. So that was yeah, almost a month ago. So I have no idea who we talked to, because I never got... Yeah. Any, um, you know, Zoom call sure. invite. I'll, so. I'll check with him tomorrow. Um, doesn't sound like it to just Right, the brand right. Um, yeah. No, he, he's a great guy. We yeah. love working with him. And, oh, yeah. yeah he, he's, he's excited about the project. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I'll just remind him. Maybe he should reach out again or whatever. And, you know, Justin and I have talked about that contract because we 
approved. I mean, he was fine. He just signed it and said, this is all I need to do. And that was, and then we sent it off. That was October 10th, you said? Yeah. Yeah, because we'd had the meeting the night. Exactly. Because we had, and then I had him sign it the next day. And um, uh, this is too far out, but it's one of those things I'd like to just drop in there so so I don't forget. Um, Had a suggestion for, well, you know, we were in here setting up, well, I didn't set up, I have to take down all of this stuff, all of the information for voting information. And one of the comments was, if we're going to be going over there, where, what are the finishes going to be? You don't want to damage, you know, we're putting, putting tape on the walls and things like that. So one of the suggestions was, is a cork board or some place to display like programs, informational sheets, things like that on the one of the doors going into the auditorium part. Um, to be kind of thinking of how to do that, whether it's whiteboard, cork board, you know, magnet board, or something. even just an easel that you can put something up on. Well, there, we you, used to have one of the. It was probably the size of that chalkboard, and it was on a frame on wheels, and you could wheel it in, and you'd put stuff in, and then you'd wheel it out, and you'd, right. you'd put it. Just one it. of those things that you know, was tossed out there that, yeah. you know, the functionality. You want, yeah, you don't want to ruin your exactly. finish. That's, that's so, I, I mean, for me, I'd rather not have, like, cork boards and stuff up. I'd rather have something that's mobile yeah. and that we can use it for different events that whether it's an easel and a big or something like you said that was, you know, or like a um, rolled sandwich in board that, or whatever right, right. that's bigger that we can put up what we want yeah write on it, you know, the event, if it was a whiteboard or whatever, and then fold it, store it in one of the storage areas. And I assume we'll be able to, you know, we'll plan on storming, storing the uh, voting cubicle things and stuff like right. that. Okay. Too, That's just so. one of those things that they tossed out there, hoping that we would bash it around. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Todd mentioned. So you wouldn't want yeah. anything perfect. I don't. I, I, not a cork board, but the first thing that comes to mind for me is a um, just like an acoustic panel oh, that, that you can tack into. Yes. Um, they're they're rigid enough. They're right. PET. And this is the stuff and that we talked about. Space yeah. And they're it's fixed. They can come and, in like six millimeter thick. Right. And we could and you can do fabric over it or you know anything like that. So that's yeah. you know something make, I just I mean I just worry about what it will look, look like, like in the end. <laughs> so oh, yeah. And you could do a white and it would match the yeah. wall. Mm-hmm. The walls are painted white. So yeah. I just something to yeah, you know, exactly. want a permanent. Yeah. yeah, it's just might be, I don't know, easier. I, I don't know. You know, it doesn't matter to me, but just thinking about how information for whatever event is happening mm-hmm. can be displayed yeah. upon walking in. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So yeah, exactly. Check that off. My yeah. List. Um, just for giggles, <laughs> once, and I know Steve and those aren't, aren't here, but you know, one of the questions was asked a lot is will we will it have it will we have a certificate of occupancy by this time next year? What's what's the likelihood that we'll yeah. have enough money to do that? Uh, pretty slim, huh? I'd say pretty slim. <laughs> Probably pretty slim, yeah. Mm. Is it doable? The amount of work that would be required to take it over. That amount, I don't think, is massive. Like mm-hmm. we talked about before, is plumbing and, right. and having a, a thermally and enclosed closed, space yeah. stuff. So, mm-hmm. but it's also expensive stuff. Um, so it's all the expensive stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, pretty slim, I'd say. Yeah, unless yeah. the gates or whatever. You seem to have an end. <laughs> I didn't get the money. I just know it got there. <laughs> Do a little digging. Yeah. So. This one of that was asked a yeah. lot yesterday. I, exactly. I mean, you know what we say? Yeah. You want it, give a donation. That's right. <laughs> That's what I did to everybody yesterday. Yeah. There are so. ways to do like a temporary occupancy, like 10 days, if you yeah. wanted to hold like the election, an open house. Well, probably not oh, the no. election, but maybe it's like a fundraiser walkthrough. Uh, something um you could you prove i don't know what the requirements are for this but we we did it for um, a couple of tours at the 317 project so you get like 10 days to like 
it's safe for people to go in and be walked around, but it's not a, a permanent habitat. Gotcha. You don't have full blown fire alarm systems. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. You'd have to have you have really to bathrooms. Have yeah. Yeah. The bathroom, right. mechanicals, plumbing, um, obviously electrical, say fire alarm system, all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the way we did it in Yarmouth to get this was basically we just provided um, a, a layout of chairs where we were like they gave a presentation about the process of the whole project and stuff so we had like 40 chairs and we showed them laid out in the space and how many people were going to be there and like just uh, for an hour or something and we gave it to uh, either the town fire chief or mm -hmm. somebody and they said okay you can have this event there mm -hmm. that yeah. is something that could potentially happen if you wanted to do like a grand yeah, soft open so long, maybe or things yeah, like that. right. So they can see inside. Mm -hmm. Now that they can see outside, I'm excited because people are excited. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm surprised we didn't get questions about the brown paint. Mm. I was going <laughs> to ask that. I have that down here. That was a question I was going to ask you. What's going on? Um, the um, soda blasting fella has not gotten back to me about the process he would like to try. Okay. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was maybe something that would be sprung on us in the spring. Because the weather, the temperature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would imagine that that's what it would be. Okay. But he's very um, anxious to you know, work with us. To mm -hmm. It's just a small area. Yeah. And yeah. it's ridiculous to bring up everything that he was proposing in the first, exactly. the first run. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. All right. Mother Nature is starting to have effects yeah. on what we can and can't do over there. Absolutely. The, all of the paint that you see on the side of the building now is all just primer. Mm -hmm. and but what a difference it makes. Oh, it makes it look yeah. beautiful. Yeah. But, yeah. but you know, obviously, right. we're going to need more paint. Right. Um, they're still waiting on. There's some uh, the crown mold that goes around the edge of the roof that is being custom made to mm -hmm. match the profile that was there. Yeah. And that still isn't here yet, so that is going to need to be at least primed on the ground before it goes up. I mm -hmm. um, think the masons still have a little bit of work to do on the other end of the on building. The yeah. yeah, they were doing a little bit of cleanup and a few things over there, but unfortunately, all that stuff is going to start being temperature dependent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Are they going to need like propane gas heaters in there just for a temporary heat? If, uh, well, they may have to have something in there. Depending on if, if we get permanent power <laughs> yeah. up and going, then they may have to put some temporary heat in there just to keep it warm enough for yeah. interior but painting and that kind of stuff. Whatever the Indian function is. And there, um, when I was over there this morning, the Fred from Nickerson O'Day was there and they were working out some plans for the front steps, right. uh, how that's going to get in, installed and stuff. So they're getting ready to get started on that. and. Aaron also did mention that he had placed an order for all the interior framing lumber. Oh, okay. so that should be coming shortly. That's good. And uh, you know, on the days that they can't do anything outside, they'll be inside, starting to lay out and frame walls. And they've got a lot of the ASIC on the side of the, I don't know, the bottom half of the bell tower, I guess, whatever you call that yeah. piece that's up there. Yeah. And while we're on that, Andrew, they were. Talking about, I'd like to have some sort of a possible sketch of how to construct the upper half of the bell tower. So uh, where, where it sits, but not the actual dome? Well, not so, the dome itself, but the, but the, the intermediate part. Yeah. You know, because they would like to build that on the ground. And so it's going to need to be... Oh, like the little cupola? Some structural integrity. Well, it's, you know... It's the Next section, yeah, right? Well, the frame part for the bell. Call mm -hmm. oh, the, the belfry, or I, I don't know what the proper names yeah, for all of this is, is but you know, this portion is there, and they're yeah. putting the trims on that now. But between here, right, and the dome no, tower, is yeah. what they're looking for a little help on. Sure. Okay. You know, I think you're going to have to have a floor at this level. Yep. And then some structure coming up here to support another roof up there. 
but it's all going to have to be designed in such a way that you can pick it up with a crane and fly it up there. Mm. And, and they're looking to possibly build that off site someplace. Now the weather is getting. Yeah. And um, that makes perfect sense. They were there. There's when I talked to thinking. Fred this morning, he was thinking, I guess they've got a big shop up at their place in Bangor. They said possibly they could build this section and transport up there, down. transport it down here, take the crane, pick and it up port. there. Right. Um, they were still undetermined about the copper cladding that's going to go on that. And that would have to roof come down and roof over top of this piece up there. So you have a seamless copper roof over the right. whole thing without, okay. yeah. so there'd be no chance for water intrusion, <laughs> you know, but you know, the, in the original structure, you had big eight by eights that came all yeah. the way down clear into here. You know, that was all rotten and you know, that's all gone now. So they were just wondering if you, you know, like, if this is it, if you have a little framed wall on the corners, on each corner, going up to support that roof section and yeah. and how to stack mold that mm -hmm. trim. We had discussed this with Eric. Um, there was that meeting that he came to that John Park was supposed to come to and his car broke down and they talked about that. And then I followed up with him after. Um, let me circle back with Eric. I okay. had a plan for all of that. Um, certainly we can detail, you know, the vertical pieces that aren't structural, but we'll want to know what he wants to put up there and then what it's sitting on in that, that floor. Yeah. So I, I think they have good structure down here underneath. It's already capped. It's already capped. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all built and capped. And we talked about that, that they put Joyce across there and it's all capped and watertighted. And my question is, once this is built, is this space big enough to get the bell and the wheel back in there? Because <laughs> right. that's well, my other concern. And, and part, of, part of the design is going to have to make sure that there's enough space. I mean, obviously, we probably want to put the bell back in it on the ground and put the whole thing up there in mm -hmm. one right. piece. Because I know he's got the, the bell mount has been rebuilt yeah, and that's yeah. that's sitting over there yes. and the wheel and the bell are in yeah. the daylight basement of our barn which if we get any substantial snow we'll Nothing have to, to it, yeah we'll have to plow i mean there's always a way to get to it yeah. we just have to plow it out so you know whether or not we decide we want to move that bell if if we think we want it somewhere in the winter time or before spring well you know. we'll have to kind of coordinate some of that with nickerson o'day yeah. on what they want to do with this exactly you know and how fast you know i mean obviously there's a lot of things that aren't going to be done this yeah. winter because of weather <laughs> you know if they build this thing off site they probably might want to just hold on to it oh, to yeah. spring and pick it up and plunk it on top there yeah take whatever time they need to yeah, if it is filling or whatever. It's not needed till springtime, and I can't imagine that it's an imperative that we have it yeah. before then. No, it's you it's know this bottom portion is, is water watertight and mm -hmm. and ready to go. Yeah. You know, I would I would think you're just going to have to basically build a floor at this level and a roof at that level. And one thing I'm concerned about is if we're going to have a rubber roof under underneath the bell. You know, because that's open to the weather. Somehow you need to keep that watertight hmm. in inside there. Yeah. You, know, you know, when the old one had some metal on it that right. looked like yeah. a sieve, <laughs> and that's why it was all rotted yeah. out. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the hole that went down with the rope that rain came in into the well, end. Yeah, rain, well, so. and they were talking about that today, you know. If, you know, are we going to that try to of, make the bell ring? That's one of the questions. Well, actually, yeah. it's a question that I heard two or three times yeah. last night is, will it be operable? And I went, I don't think so. Well, well the, part of the problem is the, the the clapper on the bell, I don't think, is the original one. And it doesn't, to me, it doesn't look like it hits in the right place. Really? Yeah. So I don't, and I'm not the bell expert by any means, but, you know, we were discussing different ways that we could get the rope up through, okay. you know, the one discussion was a, a piece of PVC pipe coming up through right. the floor, yeah. and then another piece that sleeved over top of it, mm -hmm. attached to the rope, so as you pulled the rope, this sleeved up and down over top of the other one, okay. but it didn't allow water in. Water so, 
If not, we'll just make a loud recording of a yeah. bell. And when people <laughs> say, can you ring the bell? We'll just, you know, so, look. If we do like tapered insulation that sheds all four ways and with a, with a peak in the middle there, and then we could rubber it or we could metal flash it, I think that that would, it wouldn't pool up in the center of the, the bell tower. Right. Are you worried about how it would and then you just go have over weepers? the edge? No. It'd have weepers from the inside of the yeah. scuppers or you whatever? Know, yeah. It would, and then inside, you know, if, if this is your corners, you're going to have some structure here of some sort. And then the same thing, this is not to scale by any means. <laughs> I'm not your, I'm not you. But, you know, if you have water, in, you know, and the bell sets in the middle here. Okay, yeah, so it could, it would you'd, taper. You'd, you'd have an issue with water going toward these corners. It would be so, a trick to get that so you don't have water pooling here. Right. You got to get it to go it's out those. like you have an inverted taper from the corners down, that would lead yeah. to the center, but then that center would yeah, taper you'd have to have the... a high point here that pitched back this way. It's, this whole thing has to pitch out through there somehow. Mm -hmm. yep. And I, I would almost think that I mean, a piece of rubber would be the obvious thing to put in there because it would conform yeah. nicely. But, but then you've got the, the bell stand that has to sit down. Right, on it. On you know, it. I don't know whether you would put a wood butt underneath the rubber and set the new one on top of that and attach it down somehow. That, that'd be a question for Handle Brothers, I guess. Yeah, plat platforming the center. How how big? I guess how much of that space up there would you say that takes up that structure that holds the bell? Half of it, maybe. I mean, we could we could get some measurements. It's setting over there. It's yeah. it's about that wide and yeah, three feet long, three and a half feet long. Okay. Um, and it just sets on four posts on the corner. So right, you know, you got. You'd have to try to flash around each one of those. That's that's going to be a tricky situation to keep water tight. Yes, I agree. <laughs> How do we do it at the oh, church? Do you know, I can give you the guy's name, Greg Sanborn. I'll give you his contact information. Give him a call because they just they just <clears throat> did, did yeah at the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might yeah, be worth asking. Steeple. Yeah, yes, that's he does it all the time. He's yeah. in Massachusetts, Vermont, and Maine. <clears throat> but I will, I'll give you his phone number and uh, I'll text it to you. And mm -hmm. I mean, that might just might be a good contact. But they, would, how did you yeah. do this? Because mm -hmm. we're you looking, could, and, yeah. you know, that yeah. tower's open. Right. That's right. The, before it had metal that came out and lapped down over the edge. You know, that little portion right there, but the metal was in little sheets and yeah. had overlaps and, and, and the holes. Yeah, and our bell works too. I yes. mean, it, you know, so. Exactly. Yeah. And it, so there's a way, I'm sure there's a way yeah. to make that rope come down because it's right in that right, right in the entryway. The church. It or goes it's the left hand. Yeah. 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 Does the bell need to be painted or any work on the, the bell? The bell itself? needs to be cleaned up and the silver paint from a spray can probably needs to be removed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the pigeon poo. And yeah. that. Yeah, I know. Go blind. There, my mother told Jenny. <laughs> Jenny goes, oh, it's such a mess. They came to get boxes the other day and mom said, go downstairs yeah. and look over there. Because she hadn't seen it, and Jenny was all excited. And then Mom's like, "Don't touch the fish." Go blind. Is that is would the bell be painted then, or just left? I don't I'm not know. Sure how he he, uh, he painted our bell. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Is it bronze? What is it? No, it was steel. I think. Steel. Yeah. Cast yeah. iron. Yeah, cast iron. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But obviously, somebody just painted it with a spray can because. There's drips and it doesn't. I'll look give you Greg. Yeah. He's a really neat guy to talk to. He, Where's he out of? He's out of Limerick. Uh, yeah, Limerick, Maine. Limerick Steeple Jacks. Mm -hmm. Get some ideas for how mm -hmm. to design that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So 
sure <laughs> knows of some tricks. So, yeah, yeah. All right. Is there anything else under project status that we want to discuss? So, we're going to have to heat this during the winter, or will we not have to heat the inside of that? Well, I I think we're waiting to find out about if we have budget. How much? Yeah, yeah the, the budget for the whole event. Um, well, I mean, they're working at that they'll heat it themselves. Yeah, or they'll have some least. separate. I mean, it, it's been yeah. unheated the last couple yeah. of years. Mm -hmm. You know, because they they actually have some nice space heaters. Right, that can be used inside now. Um, but as far as maintaining it, like right. over yeah. the weekend right. and stuff. Um, I'm not sure what's going to be because our plan was to use the mechanicals that will be in there, not mm -hmm. to spend money on right. some of the yeah. big yeah. that yeah. you can bring in. Yeah. But that's money that's not going in the building. Right. Yeah. Just so, depends upon where, if we get to the point where we're doing finishes, then obviously we have, have to. Have right. That. Yeah. right. Exactly. If we just frame it, we can get temporary heaters to do yeah. the framing and. Yeah, to, for comfort for working in as opposed exactly, to until we run out of money. <laughs> yeah. You know. And they can do sheetrock and just, they just can't put, do the mud. You can't mud and tape it. It's, it's not advisable to do right. it without. Exactly, but they can put it up, right? Because I think that's kind of, oh no, even yeah. putting it up because it's so cold. And yeah, some of, the, some of that the, stuff still has a pretty high moisture content in it. Oh, yeah. Theoretically, it's supposed okay. to be dry. Okay, but you know how theory is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and most feet rockers, you aren't going to get them to work in the cold anyway. <laughs> They're used to working where it's nice and warm. <laughs> Donnie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So we want to move on to whoops, kicking some mail. Um, monthly invoices. What do we want to talk about the budget? Just to review the colorful sheet. Um, I do not have the um, paint builder on there yet because I'm waiting for Nick Snow Day to put it on their requisition so that our team agrees with the requisition sheet. So at the moment, we've paid out with the invoices for Paul Design and for Nick Snow Day this month, as you can see in red, Paul uh, 1015 and Nick Snow Day $88,974.28. Uh, so, swap teams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, then, so what we've paid out to date um, is one point two one million two hundred fifteen thousand six hundred eighty six dollars and thirty six cents. That's with everything, including obviously almighty waste and whatnot. So at the moment, remaining in the phase one budget, and I haven't don't have the change order in there that we just signed. Um, Four hundred twenty five thousand. Worth leaving the balance for phase two at 119,121. And I'm assuming that the 114 will be coming out of that. Yes. Yes. So that's where we're at at this point. Everybody buy your mega bucks ticket <laughs> <laughs> and make a promise that yeah. if you win. Yeah. <laughs> so, does anybody have any questions about this? And to date, is that the Chris? Nice job. Oh, oh, a little, a little bit of uh, that's stuff. selling that moose. No, <laughs> we uh, did you get one? No, no, no. Not. Um, I'm gonna put a sign up next time because don't, don't ask about the moose. Don't ask about the moose. <laughs> all Don's fault. She it is it. <laughs> we, uh, I actually loaded up the old cast iron boiler that they hauled out of the basement. Oh. Thing weighed 5,300 and change pounds. I hauled it down to the scrap yard yeah. and sold it for cast iron price. And we got 420. Wow. Oh, that's great. Yeah. What else could we sell in there? The <laughs> well, there's a little bit more iron still laying over there. Those, those were those pieces that were laying the out there last week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those no. that was Crazy. a serious load of, of wow. stuff. But I hold it nice down job. the other day and well, thank that. you, Steve. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you'll you. see the invoice and stuff is in there. I don't okay. know if you need it, but well, I'll just give it to Justin. And they, they wrote the check to me, so I took the check and yeah. cashed it and put it in there. So yeah, yeah it took a little tip off the top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So 
did Mr. Diesel fuel's not cheap these days. No, no. <laughs> did Mr. Hopkins say anything to you? I know how much he loves doing invoices, but has he hasn't submitted anything to I have not uh, seen Jimmy for a while. I talked to him today, but about something else, and I didn't even think to ask him that until after I hung up the phone. But <laughs> we had one of our raw discussions like you can only have with Jimmy. <laughs> oh yeah, that takes a while. Um and I'm not sure. I mean Nickerson O'Day's been, you know, they're kind of coordinate with him, but yeah, he is getting gonna, gonna come back and tie the sewer and the water in because the Four drills have been yes. down through the foundation. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they're they're done. So it's just a matter of getting them stubbed inside. Yeah. Um, is Paul going to be off the committee now? Did I see something? Yes, yeah, in yeah. the minutes yeah. from last time. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If we need something, we have to reach out. Yeah. Okay. Because when Jimmy's back with his excavator, we've got that issue of the. Yeah. One plug sewer line. Right. So we just need to be able to reach out to Paul and see if we can harangue him if we need anything from him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll reach out and call him. Yeah. yeah it, it would just be great if we could take care of whatever he thinks we need to do with that all at once. while while Jimmy's yeah. on site. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he has any problem with that. I think he just he gets home and it's right at the time he's supposed to be here, and you know, mm -hmm. it's just I think it was just he's overloaded, self-employed. Yeah, said. exactly. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. You got to do the work and build the work and all of that. Yeah. Got me a move to sure. I move that we um, pay Paul Designs the one thousand one fifteen mm -hmm. submitted on this month's invoice. Okay. Second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. There's no day just to go down through the invoice. Um, they do a nice job compiling it on the front. Um, they're billing 20,000 in labor, 20,000 change in labor, material 7,300, um, buzzard masonry 35 by the looks of it, 35,000. Mm -hmm. um, project management, Fred and Steve, and Steve Howard for 1,800 bucks. And then equipment rental. Um, looks like he's, they've gotten a couple of credits. Um, hmm. Generators, credit for overcharge. So there's about $1,000 there. Credit. Um, so they're billing us for equipment about uh, 11500 So it's a it's a uh, balance due of 88 for this for this month. So that puts us pretty much at... About sixty percent without the new change order in there. Okay. I move we pay. Um, <clears throat> come on, well, my well, my Nixon and O'Day. <laughs> the eighty-eight thousand nine seventy-four twenty-eight presented on their their invoice stuff. Second. Second. All in favor. Do you want to sign that copy for me? Anyway, there's fine. Yeah. Do we need to consider replacing Paul or are we staying with well, where we that's, are? That's a discussion um, that I think we should have for sure. Are we interested in keeping the size that we are? Should we be asking if there's, if there's interest from others? I guess we could either do that or decide if we wanted to ask Steve to be a member and then we'd be back to an odd number for, you know, that we Any ever, event that we know, ever right. yeah, didn't agree on something and we right. needed a tiebreaker. So, yeah, we rock, paper, scissors. No. <laughs> so, I mean, that's both I'm done. done. I'm done. Steve done. indicated he didn't really want to be well, a member, we, but maybe he changed so, his mind. So, I think most of us kind of felt like it didn't matter if he was right. on or not, but right. then there was one dissenting voice, which now is not is not dissenting dissenting right. anymore because he's not here. So, so I mean, if if that's an easy thing around it, I mean, as if opposed to right. asking another person, I would you know, think if he wanted to be or was willing to be, a, yeah. To, member of the committee that'd yes, be fine exactly if not i don't know as we really need more 
people than yeah, we have. Exactly. I mean, to be chugging along mm -hmm, pretty yeah. okay at yeah. this point. I'm not sure, you know, what's going to happen, you know, when we start running out of money. <laughs> We're all going to we, be out with a tin cup. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll all be out there, but, you know. Um, yeah, I hope. Do, you know, do we, are we going to continue having the committee going when the, when the work comes to an end? Because we're out, the budget's gone, or I'm, I'm, I was just curious if you know if we're technically almost coming down to the end of our budget and stuff here. And Steve has some active, you know, a couple active grants, plus there's some grants that we're going to be able to put in again for like Stephen King at the beginning of the year. And then um, there's a list of other ones that we can try again. You know, we can try Alfond again, we can try. King again. So if those start to, you know, pay off at twenty five, fifty thousand dollars, then mm -hmm. you know we will have some money to do something with, mm -hmm. buy a toilet or a sink. You know, yeah. well, one of like the costs these days. <laughs> so, well, so you know, should we be trying to conjure up ideas or, or you know, looking at? like we did for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. These are the things that we need. that we we made it to this point. Yeah. This let's be nice for ourselves. Yeah. We made it to this point. We have to make it to here. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So these are the items, individual items that will get us there. Yeah. You know, what, you know, so how can we check those off the list? Are we going to I mean when we run out of money, then are we going to have Nickerson or Day figure us a price of well, how much we I'm, need? That's, to get what, that's what I'm getting at. Really, a very specific. These are yes. the things, you know. And and if we can if we can present that, we may have to go back to the yeah, committee exactly. and just say, you know, this is how we have done. We've stretched our dollars literally as far as we can stretch them. Mm -hmm. This will get us in the door using the the facility. Mm -hmm. It isn't going to be fancy. It, you know, we may in a couple of years want to repaint, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. but for right now, this will get us in the door. Maybe we can get some help. The painting, the interior painting that's being done, is that something that we might be able to approach a local you painter never know. that would right. donate it? Because... I know Marty, when I wanted the front of the building painted before um, graduation, the year my granddaughter graduated, because yeah. I wanted it painted nice for pictures. Yeah. He just did it. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. If we have, if we have very specific, this is what we have. Right. This is what we've done. Yeah. And this is a yeah. long list. Yeah. I just don't know. I my and then is like these... I don't want to overstep something that yeah. no, we've contracted with someone to right. do it. Right. But what if we had mm -hmm. someone that could work with mm -hmm. our people, you know, not like even, you know, doing the things like getting people to no donate materials. Yes. Like, you know, right. if if we know what those things are, the specifics that we need right. to get to that right. point, mm -hmm. we can start asking and finding maybe yeah. local people. And there may be, you know, tradesmen that will come right. in and, right. and donate and have their name somewhere or whatever. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. You know, use yep. of the building for a year. You know, whatever there could be right. there could be any number of yeah. options. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think that's the thing. Once we know what we need to reach the end and whether or not, you know, like when we talk to Lark and they do a lot with sports fields. And of course, they're in Monmouth. Right. Christy was the, you know, assistant to the principal mm -hmm. for a long time and mm -hmm. on and on and on. So there are people that I would send a letter asking for donations for, right. uh, you know, mm -hmm. doing the work or mm -hmm. whatever they could be yeah, or covering the cost if there's a if there's a scope out there that can be done or or installation of something yeah is there somebody that wants to sponsor that you know right but right I think we really will need once we know where we're yeah. final dollar this is it and right. these are the right. many things that need to be done yeah. and I think we're going to have that's going to be going on clear until next spring yes. obviously yeah, because anyways, yeah. there's quite a bit of temperature sensitive work that we're not going to be able to get done right yeah. right you know right. and part of Nickerson or Day's contract is going to end up you know they may pull out and stop working right and then have to come back in the spring when weather permits right 
you know. I said something to Steve Burton about that one day when we were having one of our meetings. And he goes, you know, we have to stop for we we've run into this with other projects that run out of money and then we have to come back. So you're not the first no, one. No, no. And, and how that, does that work? That so, was one of the that was one of the things that I felt comfortable with them when yes. you know, between our choices. Yes. Um, of contractors. Yeah. Um that, yeah. They were understanding of the process. This isn't a once and done kind mm -hmm. of thing because we, you know, we have to answer to, you know, the tax dollars that yeah. we have and we have mm -hmm. to answer to whatever we can do for raising money. They, yeah. they seem to be okay with how that process works. Yeah. So, um, but I really, I think that that's the thing that we, you know, cause I'm concerned about the same thing, but we really need to, this Letting people know with all of the interest that we yeah. had yesterday, mm -hmm. letting them know these are the items that will get us in the door, mm -hmm. you know, and we can go nuts after that if we want to, yeah. but this will get us in the mm -hmm. door. And I think people have to understand too, and I think a lot of them are who are now doing their own projects at home right. that right. we did get slammed because Hard. of COVID. Yeah. Um, oh. You know, we got lamb. Yeah. Yeah, oh, like we always said, if we had that 40%, we'd be all right. But yes. You know, it, it was, we'd be in the door. Yes. Yeah. And what are you guys figuring construction costs have done since pre COVID? It's doubled. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Pretty close to double. Yeah. yeah. You know, so if we had uh, the money back, it would have been easy to finish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know, the demo cost would have stayed about the same, but right. yeah. The, the yeah, other stuff. Yeah. yeah. I was like, is there a phone in here? <laughs> yeah. Steve was, I think, mentioning that he was going to do a cost estimate for completion. Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. No, so I, I haven't. haven't. And that's completion as in certificate of yes. occupancy. Yes. That's, I think, just going to be huge. So I, I can. It, you guys probably talk to him honestly more than I do, but I can also send a reminder. Well, that, that would that would be that out. would be awesome if you would. You know, if, um, if you could go yeah. from the end of where we are now for a contract, you know, say if if you had this at least put a ballpark right, right now, it, yeah, because things are in flux, changing between now and the time we get there. That who knows what the prices of stuff are going to do, right? Mm. It, never know. Probably not go down. No. Probably not going down. No. Once they're up, they're up. Mm -hmm. so. And once we have that list compiled of what we need to finish, mm -hmm. um, we can post it on oh, the website, absolutely. you know, that Jeff has put together for yep. us and then have a link. With, there's already a link on the on the town website to get to that. Mm -hmm. um, but make sure that people can see it and get that information right? or whether we I laminate a list and have it up at the town office right. so and people can see it. And so know anybody that does this or, yeah. you know. Yeah, see. that would might get a little difficult if you have a whole bunch of different people coming in trying to do different portions of the yeah, exactly. Sponsoring. Yeah. yeah. Sponsoring. Yeah. Sponsoring. Yeah. But yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Providing yeah. materials, you know, right. if there is something that you know, like the kitchen is a good yeah, example. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But here's one the millwork for the lettering. Right. That's a small job, but in all honesty, you know, but it to needs have, to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The sizing of them now. Mm -hmm. but okay. There's like a cabinet maker in town that well, there is, and that's, you know, and mm -hmm. we can talk mm -hmm. about, yeah, Blanchard. Mike Blanchard. Mike uh -huh. Blanchard. Yeah. So, in my kitchen, I, I don't have a problem calling Mike. <laughs> okay, yeah, but maybe, you know, something, yeah. that, and we could, you know, do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Just those, you know, brainstorming those things to yeah. get mm -hmm. in the door. Yeah. That's that's the key is getting people in the door. Yeah. All right. Any um on to the next item on the agenda, select board update, answers, recommendations, anything from the powers that be? I have anything exciting. I what were we waiting for? We were waiting for something. Oh, we were waiting to start our executive session. So Doug had me give a little dissertation about what we were doing <laughs> and where we were and what was happening because we were just trying to gather people and all that stuff. So I gave a little brief synopsis. And um, then 
Nobody really has said too much to me, but I think yesterday was a great, you know, opportunity to get the information out. So, mm -hmm. and um, um, Dr. Bougie, I wanted to ask you and Doug about the museum doing the small business Saturday. Who would I reach out to? So we talked about having some of the throws up there. Or the, uh, a piece. I don't have my phone with me, but I will text you yeah. her contact. Or the peas. Yeah, or the a pea. A A Yes. A pea. She was or the Libby. She graduated. Yes. Okay. So um, I'll reach out to her and see if I brought up, you know, the little thing and some of the blankets, if they'd be willing to have them there for Small Business Saturday. And then... Um, the new principal did give me permission to go to the basketball games. Oh, and have you gotten it yet? I uh, no. Okay. So, and Rich told me, don't worry. I have to have the schedule because I have to be there to score, you know, run the scoreboard. So if you don't get it, I need to have it. I'll get it from him. So I'm waiting to get the um, schedule so I can say I'm going to be there at these games. And I'm hoping they have like a, you know, pre-Christmas tournament that I can go up there and sell some for gifts beforehand but I'm I'll now that the boys and girls games are on separate nights um when I was in school it was the girls game and the boys, and the boys game, game. but not anymore they're separate nights so I'll do boys games and girls games because you might hit different parents and on different nights so I'll go to a few of those games and try to get some of those blankets out there um and I know Steve did that um, one grant that we talked about last time that closed. So I think now we're it's a waiting game to hear if we got anything from that. I gave him some more information on a couple others. And so I know he's working on stuff. I haven't heard from him, but um, he usually answers my emails. So I'll just reach out to him and check in. I'll send him the date that we picked for the next meeting. So he has it. February 3rd is a Saturday and the Mom and Bex team yes. is going to be hosting a tournament. So we okay. might be able to put a little table up. Um, and so other than that, with Steve's donation. I haven't had anything since the Apple Fest. So, um, but I think but that this time coming year, around, yeah, grants, some of the grant stuff, I know that, you know, we've got that stuff in the works and then we'll be able to go back to you know, Stephen King and, yeah. and uh, Alpha. Hopefully, you know, they'll like us better this time. <laughs> but Steve's fancy writing and wording. So that's my hope. So the smoke. Yep, exactly. So you need to um, work in December. You know, the next uh setting next item is setting time and agenda. Um early with select board is the 15th and the 29th. So Stop. then that would be generating. Let me look. So December. You want to stay on Mondays or? Yeah. Yeah. If we can. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking, so why are we here? It's Wednesday. Yeah. Well, the, the fourth. Wednesday, 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 the 11th. Fourth is. Oh, well, no. When that's, let's see. Yeah. That is a select board. So, right. yeah. So the fourth. So the fourth. Yep. That's we all right on the fourth. Mm -hmm. yes. I think so. I think I just got something scheduled yeah. on the sixth earlier. So, yeah, 12th. Yeah, Monday the fourth. Yeah. Let me just look at. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm good that day. Yeah. All righty. Is there anything else? We have no public since he's no longer public. <laughs> <laughs> uh, motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn yet. Yeah. Second. I'll second. Yeah. All there. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. What salvage company did you take that tank to? Clark's West Side Trap in Lowell. After we, uh, Boyd McKay, we took some of the stuff from the museum there. We had an old kerosene tank that we took there. They're uh, nice people there. They are. Yeah. And it's a nice yard. It is. Except they yeah. have different yards. They've been there in the past. Oh, kind of way in the back of a little road, you know. That, yeah, I'll follow up on some of the stuff that, okay. that's on my end. And yeah, yeah. Thank you. When I was talking with the guys today, they were they, they were talking about.